So let's look at some differences in some full swing setup and some short game setup. Adam Scott does a nice job of detailing some of these differences from two of his last videos. We'd all agree Adam Scott's an incredible ball striker, maybe one of the best of all time, definitely of the modern era. You'll notice his setup on the left side. Again, whether you like it or not, a little bit more of an arched back, armpits a little bit more over the toes. The intention then in a full swing, again, really getting a lot of power, speed, sending it. And Adam has done that for a career. He's been an incredible full swing player. As well as his short game. His short game is very underrated, in my opinion. And you'll notice some differences in his setup. Armpits more back, more over his kneecaps, even a little bit in. Much more rounded back. Again, in the short game, we don't need to send this thing, nor do we necessarily want to lock anything out. So you'll see, and I've seen in teaching a lot of tour players, a more athletic stance, especially for those that strike the ball really well. So that's a little bit in their DNA. Adam's done a nice job here, again, of adjusting his posture. And this really helps can help compartmentalize some differences that we want. Again, we don't want all the full swing mechanics in short game, nor do we want the short game mechanics in the full swing. So we can compartmentalize some of those things through setup, through grip, through wrist mechanics, stuff like that. But setup's a big part here. You'll see, again, he's much more back, a little bit more on his heels, armpits more back than compared to the left side, much more rounded back. That allows him to use a little bit more body back and through, a little bit more stress-free, you could say. So not as strong and powerful because we don't need to be. When we're hitting the ball 20 yards here, you don't have to be an Olympic weightlifter to do that. So differences in the full swing and short game setup, something to tinker with, right? I do see a lot of golfers set up a little too strongly around the greens and go ahead and try to copy Adam Scott's posture here, see how that works.